Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna talk about the brand new content aware fill tool inside of After Effects. I hope everyone's having an awesome day today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Films. In this video, I wanna talk about the brand new tool Adobe brought to After Effects called the Content Aware Fill Tool. And if you've used the Content Aware feature inside of Photoshop before, you know exactly what this tool can do. And what this tool allows us to do is easily take certain objects out of a shot and replace it with something similar from the background. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's learn how to use this tool. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and we're gonna use this clip of a car going by the road and we're gonna take the car out of the shot. To get started, we'll grab the pen tool here at the top and we're gonna want to create a mask around the car. So, and if you watch other tutorials on this technique, a lot of people try to get really close to the object to take it out. My approach is I like to stay farther away from the object. This way we have a lot more data samples to replace with. So I just created a general box around the car and it's not tight around the object. So what we'll do here with our mask is we'll come here to mask one and set it to none so we can see what we're doing. And we'll open up mask one and we'll add a keyframe for mask path. So if your object's moving, you need to animate the mask. Then we'll grab the selection tool here at the top and we'll move back in time and we'll start kind of, you know, matching this up as best as we can. And, you know, we want to make sure that this mask is going to cover the car completely throughout the entire, you know, duration of the clip. And move here towards the end and we'll bring this down. So now the mask should easily follow the car, no problem at all. Then we'll come back here to the mask one and set the mode to subtract. So now we see nothing here. Then we'll want to go up to window and we'll want to grab the content aware fill if you don't see it. And I'll just bring this over here for a second. So here is the content aware fill property. And what we can do is increase the alpha expansion to maybe about four to five, just kind of keep it very minimal. And then make sure the fill method is at object and you want to set the range to work area. So we want to, you know, get the entire duration of the clip and then we'll click on generate fill layer and it will automatically analyze the clip and create your uh, content aware fill. All right, so now here's our shot and the car is completely gone and removed from the clip. And you know, this is a really cool technique to just easily remove objects from the shot. And that's how you can use a content aware fill. And there's several different other fill methods in here like surface and edge blood and surface would be more of a tighter uh, content aware fill but you know I don't think it's perfect at this point in time and then edge blend is going to just give you everything kind of blurred out so it's definitely cool to take a look at some of the other options and object is probably going to be the only fill method you need to successfully execute uh, this technique. I want to say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this After Effects video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.